what when I keep saying, yes, they're higher risk, what types of risks are we talking about? And if you go to page four and take a look, um, really, um, you know, always my tip of the day, whenever I'm teaching BSA AML, is my tip of the day is to update your risk assessment. Really, you need to understand what your risk is with respect to virtual currency at your financial institution, uh, because really, without sufficient customer due diligence and sufficient, you know, uh, you know, evaluation of what kind of exposure you have here, there's there's no real way that you can mitigate this risk appropriately, uh, because we do know that the virtual currency markets are highly associated with money laundering and terrorist financing risk. Uh, you know, at, just because of the nature of its relatively um, unregulated uh, transactions, uh, the fact that there is a lot of anonymity uh, in the market as far as who is buying and selling and trading these virtual currencies. And then we also know that there are some exchanges that are directly linked to criminal enterprises and terrorist financiers. So, uh, and, and cryptocurrency is tied to just a laundry list of some of the worst uh, illicit financial activity there is in the world. And, and this is just a limited list. If you look in your materials, um, we're talking about you know, human trafficking, child exploitation, fraud, uh, drug trafficking, cybercrime, all of these things are all related to virtual currency because it is global in nature, there's limited transparency, and the speed of transactions can be conducted very quickly.